Okay, it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Nobody O, and it's a bottle of their brown ale coming in at 4.5% ABV. There you go. There's the bottle cap. Let's get this beer out into a glass then and see what we get. Whoa! Wow. Okay, I thought that was going to be a one. Wow, look at that. I thought that was going to be one crazy opening. I thought that was going to go everywhere, but it's not. Wow. Massive head. Loads of carbonation in this one. Quite a lot. But luckily, we have a little. Another little Nurgney, Nurgney glass here. I'm going to be really quiet with this one and just. Wow, soon as that beer. As soon as it hits the glass, it really does want to give off a huge head. There's loads of carbonation, it's a very lively beer. But there's enough now. There's enough in there to get a little look at the beer. There you go. Brown ale. Looks like a brown ale. Nice and cloudy this one. Bottle's not been shook up, it's been stood up. In my in my cool cupboard for a while ready for review so loads of carbonation look at that carbonation streaming around there in the glass as I said it's very murky it's not a clear beer nice like a chestnut brown with a one finger head let's get the aroma mmm smells very nutty like a nut brown ale Chewy, sticky toffee. Loads of roasted notes. Mmm, chocolate, coffee, caramel. It smells almost like a stout, but that lovely bready nuttiness comes through to convince you it's a it's a brown ale. Let's dive in. Cheers. Wow, and it's extremely carbonated in the mouth as well. It really does explode. Hmm, and it hits your stomach, and boom, you know, it's more or less kind of fizzing away there in the stomach, and almost like a a tube of that kind of filling foam you know where you squirt it out the tube and and it kind of expands everywhere it feels like it's doing that in my stomach loads of yeasty esters in there as well it's very kind of it's a big prominence of that yeast but I'm gonna drive I'm gonna go back on to the the point glass because the head looks like there you go it's just dissipated enough now now the reason for that is in this glass of beer compared to this it's a very different color look at that might be a bit too much of that yeast in that glass for whatever reason this this might be a better kind of example of, of this of this brown ale from Nurgney. <coughs> Loads of carbonation, wow. Had to get that out. Mm. Wow, it's like a different glass of beer. Completely different beer. This 
like the aroma at the beginning of, of the review, what I mentioned, a nutty brown ale. Loads of that nuttiness, loads of that breadiness, loads of that chocolate, coffee, caramel. Ooh, a fantastic beer. Great stuff. And then moving on to this beer, which is, as you can see, looks like a different glass of beer. Completely kind of boom, carbonation hits your tongue, hits your mouth, explodes in your mouth, explodes in your stomach. Very yeasty. Mmm, what's going on? Comment, please comment. I have a lot of brewers watching, home brewers. Tell me what's going on. I'm gonna, I don't really want to kind of add this, but I'm gonna have to for the reviewing purposes. Um, this is a great, great brown ale, nice and nutty. Let's see what happens when we add this. We'll chuck the bit of yeast in there as well, if there is any. Wow, look at that. You can see it. Look at that there in the neck. And you can see, if I turn the bottle round, I don't know if you can see that. There's a load of, there it is there, look at all that yeast in the neck. Now that would, that would say that I've had the beer lying down, but honestly it's been in my cupboard. Now look at that! It's a completely different glass of beer. Wow! And we're not just talking about, you know, I know I've added the yeast at the end. Some brewers say leave it out. But you're only talking this much of the beer and it wouldn't kind of change it that much. Not in that kind of, in that way. Let's see what it's like then. Let's get in again. Yeah, just a big pile of yeast in the aroma. It smells like a, almost like a saison. And bang! Super, super carbonated. I'm going to give you a review of this bottle of beer. I've got a very good feeling that if I was to grab hold of another bottle of this brown ale, it would be completely different. It might be that it's just caught the last kind of, the last bit of the, where they bottle it, they've, they've pulled through a bit of yeast into the bottle. Um, Nogni? Never had a bad beer from them. This is not a bad beer. It's just, I think they pulled through the yeast. It, it's uh, at the bottom. It's just the unlucky bottle that escaped the quality check, I think. And it's ended up in my hands. And unfortunately, being a beer reviewer, what can I say? Nognao Brown Ale. For me, that first nice chestnutty glass of beer I had was fantastic. I would have given that a good eight and a half out of ten. This, it's still good, but I think all that yeast spoils it a little bit. So I'm going to knock. Unfortunately, I'm going to knock it down to a six out of ten. Six out of ten from Real Ale Craft Beer. Um, it just shows you really what can happen. The kind of difficulty brewers have in all of the processes from trying to keep the beer uninfected to carbonated to the quality check at the end. You know where 
this one bottle got out, it escaped. It's a real shame. I was looking forward to it. Six out of ten, but as I said, if I don't get another bottle, try a bottle of this, you'll probably get that lovely chestnutty, chocolatey, nutty beer that I was drinking in the first half of the review. Which I give an eight and eight and a half easily. So uh yeah, probably just a bad bottle for me, but thanks for watching. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.